Big question of the day, should cyclists stick to speed limits? So this question comes off the back of a video which was posted by police in Devon, Devon and Cornwall. Uh, they shared it on Twitter and it's a group of cyclists descending at 39 mile an hour, 62 kph, into a town that has a 30 mile an hour speed limit. In their tweet, the police said, cyclists, please be mindful of your speeds and just how well this will affect you in the event of a collision. This group today on Dartmoor observed traveling at a near 40 mile an hour on a 30 mile an hour restricted road. All stopped and offered appropriate words of advice. As expected, lots of people commented saying that they should be fined like a driver would be. However, in the UK, there's no law that says cyclists must stick to the speed limit. Speed limits apply to motor vehicles only. The only exception is when a local bylaw has been enforced. I think what this shows is that there's a change in that the police now know the laws because historically this is the sort of thing where the police would do thing going look at these cyclists breaking the law we've we've stopped them and done this and done that and then the cyclists would then have to then correct the police and say actually no this isn't illegal there are no laws saying we can't ride a, a bicycle at certain speeds um which is good should cyclists obey the speed limit um no probably yeah why well it's safer isn't it not that much safer depends on the scenario there's there's places where clearly you need to be careful and shouldn't be speeding but in a lot of scenarios it doesn't matter on a bike give me a scenario where if you're breaking the speed limit on a bike mm -hmm. that wouldn't also be applicable to a car um cycling from my old house to james's shop down in london where the speed limit the whole way is 20 miles an hour mm -hmm. i'll ride the whole thing at 25 on a bike okay that doesn't make me that much more dangerous to anyone whereas a car going over that speed if that hits someone that is so fight so if you go over the speed limit and the car also goes over the speed limit that's more dangerous for the yeah 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 equivalent like if, if you me doing five miles an hour more versus the car doing five miles an hour more that's a significant safety difference the car goes from being you know it goes from injuring someone to killing someone whereas i go from riding into someone probably falling off and hurting myself to riding into someone and falling off and probably hurting myself still like it's just what about when you're descending on a 30 mile an hour road at 50 miles an hour as long as you can see that it's completely clear in front, it's fine. So the same applies to a car then? Yep. So now you're saying cars can break the... Sp well... No, I'm saying that's the law. Then they have to stick to the law. But if someone was out in the lanes around here, driving fast, and you can see that it's completely clear and they wanted to speed, I'm not going to have a problem with it. It'd be James and his Jag. <laughs> you go out for a drive. My next door neighbor has a Harley. He goes out and drives. Do you think he speaks to the speed limit? Probably on a Harley. <laughs> on a Harley, he probably goes 20 miles an hour uh, under because he, just, he wants to do everything slowly and loudly. Um, I, I, I think... Um, you, you, I know we've been out on rides together. Uh, no, we were driving to... We were driving down the country together and there was motorbikers, like fast superbike guys mm -hmm. out on the roads and they could see in front of them in the Pennines and you were like, you didn't have a problem with that. Well, I'm not just going to... I don't just like... I, like, I don't proclaim outrage at people speeding no there you go because i it's, it's not for me to enforce i'm not a police person mm. it's not my I business think this is a non-issue because cyclists don't hurt people like they, they, there's very few and in, in the grand scheme of things loads of people are killed by motor vehicles no one is killed by cyclists what have you had one in the last like few years in the uk it's probably like, it's just it's it, negligible it's probably more than that but yeah in, in percentage wise it's significantly less yeah so why is there any focus on this at all because people hate cyclists and this will get some clicks that's why well inevitably yeah. well that is that isn't why devon and cornwall police have shared it on twitter but that's why it's become news why why would they share something like that on twitter because they're misinformed and they don't understand that well, it's no, not that. I, I think they're very well informed because they they haven't said it's illegal. They're just saying, you know, like be mindful, like be be safe. There could be an old person walking across that road because you've entered a town. 
you know, like for example, where I now live, the road outside my house is a 30 mile an hour, but the roads connecting my house are 60 mile an hour roads. So people carry their 60 mile an hour speed through the village. So, if yeah. so there could be people, there could be kids playing in the street. There could be an elderly person crossing the road or mm. a, a dog that moves slowly because it's 15 years old. Yeah. Uh, that is ultimately why there are speed limits, you know. Um, should they apply to bikes? I think it would be better for cycling in this country, I'm specifically talking about the UK, if anyone on a bike was regulated in the same way as anyone in a car. And the reason I say that is it stops anti-cycling car drivers going, but you don't pay road tax, not that that exists, um, that you don't have insurance, you don't abide by the speed limit, you run red lights. If we actually, I personally think if we, had more accountability as cyclists, uh, then it would mean, well, I say accountability. If we were regulated in the same way, then the anti-cyclists can't use that as an argument. They literally have no argument then. Well, and, they no, it would just be something else. Well, it would just have to be, well, you're slowing me down. And we're like, well, so what? I pay to be here. Yeah, but that's what they're really annoyed about. The argument is, is irrelevant. They're still going to be annoyed. Well, yeah, but they can't be. They just be annoyed with themselves. They just have to go and like be like, "Oh, I'm disappointed with me." Yeah, well, well I guess. Of course, I the the counter argument to what I'm saying makes cycling significantly less accessible. So, yeah. like, all of a sudden, like, like, like the helmet debate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. It, it's it's one of those things that if you say you have to wear a helmet, it's just a barrier to people using bikes, and there should the, be the, the to thing that makes bikes. cycling more safe is more people riding bikes. The single most important thing that should be focused on. So I think that's right. Any restrictions like that, helmet law, have to have insurance, anything like that, no. Stupid ideas, bin. I don't think it's stupid. I think it's stupid. I think it's not the best idea, but I think it has a case. Uh, lower speeds, pros for lower speeds are. If you did crash your bike, you are the severity of your injury is reduced, probably. Mm -hmm. um, if you are riding at a slower speed, if you crashed into a person or someone else's property, you are going to or more likely to cause less damage. Mm -hmm. um, and if you are moving slower, your reaction times will therefore be fast. Well, your reaction time won't be faster, but the amount of time you have to react will be longer. Mm -hmm. Negatives. Lots of people don't even have a method for tracking speed. Nope. So you would have to invest in some kind of thing. Yeah. I know there used to be like, like the OG bike computer was like a sensor on your sensor wheel, thing. yeah, which kind of gave you like a, a random... Yeah. Well, I guess it is... But even that's a barrier to it? entry. It's like, oh, you know, just people aren't... People riding around Newcastle right now, they're not going to... They would be like, oh, i got to get that thing now. Yeah, but ride. Make, make it like a, a requirement for bike manufacturers. You know, there has to be reflectors on a bike, so say there has to be a speed thingy. But I still don't. I think it's, it's the right option. It's not the right option. Um, of course, because also a cyclist doesn't have a number plate or a ident something that specifically identifies them, it would be nearly impossible for the police to enforce without actually having someone on the side of the road chasing cyclists down if they have broken the speed limit or something. So actually the, the implication or the um, putting it into place would be nearly impossible anyway without bringing in a number plate system, which although I like the idea, I hate it more than I like the idea. You like the idea? Well, yes, because I think, because it takes away the argument. So when, when I'm riding down a road and some idiot pulls over and goes, oh, bro, 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 you shouldn't be on the road because you don't do this and you don't do that. And I go, well, look, there's my number plate. I just don't care. Report me to the police if you don't think I'm doing something. If, 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 if you think I'm doing something illegal, mm. there's my number plate. Report me to the police. You'll see that they do absolutely nothing because I am legit. I am I'm legal. But I don't think regulation is the way to go. <laughs> it's definitely not the way. It's definitely... I mean, does it work for cars? Because cars don't ever speed. No. It's not going to work for... But, like, it's just stupid. The whole thing's stupid. It's a non-issue. It's annoying that they post it like this because it's a non-issue. 
Um, well, it depends. You'd have to look at their Twitter account. You'll probably find that their Twitter account or police Twitter is run by some policeman who doesn't like is cycling. It, no, it's about public service. And the public service in this scenario is we know this isn't illegal, but just consider your environment better. Mm. You know, it's safer for you. It's safer for other people that are around. Yes. And the biggest impact there is pedestrians. It's not other cars. It's not other road users. It's actually, there could be some old nana crossing the road and it actually takes her a while and she sees a, you know, this, this always happened because it would happen on commuters. People walk out into the road, a bike comes towards them and they always end up stepping in the, the direction that you end up going. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That always sure. happens for some reason. No, so there's true. little old nana with a Zimmer frame in the road on a 30 mile an hour road that you're entering because it's a downhill into it at 50 miles an hour and you're going to go, Shit, I'll go, I better go behind old nana. She's not going to take spat a step backwards. She does a backflip, leave, leaving a Zimmer frame in the road. Backflip, yeah. You take her out, you take yourself out, and then your mate then runs into the Zimmer frame, and then it's it's game over for everyone. That was quite an image. It was. Yeah. That's why they. That's why their tweet exists. Back to this. If safety... Well, that was this. Well, that was... <laughs> if safety was their concern, I would expect to see at least 99 posts telling drivers to be safe and not break the speed limit for this one post about cyclists. That might be I true. Bet that, I bet that's not the case. It might be. I bet that's not the case.